looking out there so far? Yeah, Daryl, things are actually looking pretty good. You mentioned the need that's right here behind me. You can see the line of folks who are waiting to get inside this building here at Joe Brown Park for assistance. And actually, this line is significantly shorter than when we first showed up about an hour ago. And that's good news because the people coming out have told us they've actually been able to get the assistance they need, which is what we want. So this is a uh, program really that the city has been operating all summer long. They've been having these events every few weeks to help people who are having trouble paying either their water bill or their energy bill. We all know that prices have been up this summer making it hard for some people to get by. Now I do want to stress that this is an event just for renters. So if you are a homeowner, you unfortunately will be turned away, but there is a specific reason for, for that. So basically, this money that's being used to help renters with these bills is something that was during the pandemic that's actually rental assistance funding. That's why they can only use this to help people who are renting a property instead of an actual homeowner. But you can come in here, say you have a 700 past due energy bill. They can settle that for you today, which is huge, as we know. So they're going to have another event like this tomorrow uh, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then they told me they have enough funds to have one more event that's coming up in October. But again, this is a look at the situation right now. People getting through the line pretty easily, which is something we like to see. I'll uh, send it back to you in the studio, Daryl. Morgan, thank you so much. And moving things over now to weather. Now, Lee, some folks will be outside trying